they gather the most current information that can possibly be known by anyone and prepare it for the rest of us to read. And it changes every year and they do a phenomenal job. But for example, they will tell you that we don't really know much about Pakistan's yeah. nuclear command and control. We simply don't know. We don't know much about India's nuclear command and control. Is Russia's, Russia's command and control, when I was in the silo at least, was still decentralized, which gave almost autonomous launch decision to the commanders at the silos themselves. What does that mean? So in the United States, it takes a validated order to clear a computer system before the controlling officers can launch the system. So the president has got to say launch and then... And then he gives an actual validation code that gets carried in the nuclear notebook. And then any system that validates the same code is now armed to launch. Nobody can just launch. So the president has what's called um, sole authority. He doesn't ask permission of anyone, mm -hmm. not his SecDef, not the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, 